Uh, this is uh, an introduction or a small tutorial of how to sign your uh, put your signature on uh, any document, electronic document, not use the e-sign uh, feature of uh, Adobe Acrobat, but uh, I'll discuss three ways or four ways or five ways to do it. First, using Microsoft Word, you could use the draw feature using the, the an e pen, for example, you go to draw and you'll say um, uh, this picture, uh, this draw, this letter, of co uh, color. You could also uh, change the uh, ink as you see fit. Uh, oops. And then you could enlarge, oops, sorry. You could enlarge, select, you could enlarge the thing and then draw with a touch. Uh, of course, you can do your signature like that and then shrink it uh, or you could uh, you could do uh, you could use the pen so pen uh, and uh, you could draw if you have an e-pen obviously whatever so that's one way to do it uh, another way to do it is to uh, is to insert uh, your signature from a, a picture file so uh, I signed I signed on a piece of paper and I took a picture with my phone and I emailed my phone when I sent it to, to WhatsApp to uh, myself and I opened it of course you'll see uh, the image inserted as uh, as a large picture like that the first thing you could do is is uh, uh, go here and say be, put place behind text or in front of text if you put it in front of text it will be it will uh, obscure some of the text if you do it behind text it's better uh, and you could resize it as you see fit of course you see the background uh, is problematic so you say format picture uh, and then you say uh, do some corrections and you select one of these uh, say this one or this one it'll be like that or you could say uh, what's a bit darker so you'll say this one and you'll uh, uh, you'll uh, say format picture uh, and uh, my picture here and you'll say that for the color and and brightness uh, somewhere here somewhere here brightness uh, picture transparency uh, uh, transparency no not transparency picture correction uh, you could say uh, I want it sharper I want the, to increase the brightness or I want to increase the contrast between dark and light colors so this will uh, eliminate these uh, spots where the where the, uh, the gray color is showing up so let's say uh, this is like 50 45 percent and voila or uh, you could increase it or just use the built-in one of these so this gives you 40 percent uh, increase in brightness and uh, and 20 percent increase in contrast uh, you could do any one of any one of these or this one sharpness 50% and it will be like this there are still some uh, gray spots here anyway that's uh, one way to do it if you if you take a picture with good lighting in the beginning you will eliminate this uh, problem uh, uh, the other option is to uh, we discussed both uh, e-pen while well, using your finger pit uh, finger uh, tips say draw and uh, uh, draw this one and if you don't have an e-pen uh, you'll go select and you increase it as much as possible and then you draw your picture your whatever your signature uh, and uh, and if you shrink it it will be this way uh, and you can shrink it even more okay you can hit shift and uh, and increase or decrease the length and the width uh, equally uh, of course don't forget to 
uh, say behind picture behind text or you could go to uh, shape format and say position and you say uh, more layout options and they say side text wrapping and you say in front of text or behind text so either this or that the other one uh, you could import i said to import your picture here like this uh, the, the the second group if you do it from acrobat uh, adobe acrobat first using uh, use uh, use it to place an image using tools so this is an open uh, acrobat uh, um, thing uh, so you go to uh, edit image and you right click with your mouse anywhere here and you say place image of course you have it ready uh, uh, well this is uh, this is no good so I'm gonna delete this and I have my picture here so I'm gonna right click this because I corrected the thing uh, the brightness and all that so you save picture as a, a, a JPEG and I'll place it in my desktop so signature again uh, and I'll go to uh, Adobe Acrobat and I'll say um, edit object content so tools content edit object and right click anywhere and say place image and uh, I'll import this now it becomes uh, what I want I'll place it whatever uh, whatever place I want so this note that this will not be transparent don't know if this can be transparent so find the white spot and, and do it. Uh, the, the third or fourth or fifth or last way to do it is to go to the, uh, to the file itself uh, and um, where, uh, where is that file? Um, let me save this file. So in my uh, desktop house, uh, on my desktop. And I'll say this is topic one and I'll go to the file in my desktop and I'll right click this and I'll say open with uh, uh, sorry uh, not, not this one I want to save it as save as a PDF okay uh, save it as a PDF on the desktop again so I'll go to the PDF a newly saved PDF and I'll say open with Microsoft Edge. Uh, for this, it's a, it's a good idea to have uh, your pen. So, so this is my pen. And I'll say add note using this pen. And now you can write, you can choose uh, the font and you can write whatever. And if you save it, the PDF will be saved with this signature. Uh, of course, you can add a a, a stamp here if you want uh, just got out. oh you could place an image you can open it uh, again in Adobe Acrobat like we said and and you could add an image here so right click place an image and you'll say stamp and you can correct this by by doing it either opening this in uh, uh, the stamp because of the gray color the background you can either open this using uh, edit uh, edit with photos or you could import it into word and do this your collect uh, correction uh, stuff so you could uh, uh, you could uh, uh, you could increase the lighting and do all these okay so uh, uh, where is the brightness Somewhere uh, here, along here is a brightness. Uh, yeah, I'll just do it in word. Well, that's it.